Hi everyone, I'm Sincere Gonzalez. I'm a realtor on the Treasure Coast of Florida. And for those of you that don't know, the Treasure Coast is located on the east coast of Florida, kind of in the middle, kind of in the lower half of the middle. That's where we're located. It's a beautiful area. There's a lot of variety in prices and homes in different areas. There's a lot of beachfront property, waterfront, there's luxurious homes, there's starter homes, all kinds of properties. But it's a really pretty area to live in. I wanted to make this video today for people that are thinking of moving to Florida. I wanted to kind of go through what the steps are to buy a house in Florida if you're not from here, okay? So first thing, you need to determine which area you want to live in. And let's say you've determined that the Treasure Coast is the area for you. Well, now you need to do your research and you need to find a realtor that you feel comfortable with. And, you know, what you can do is check out their Google reviews, check out their YouTube videos, check out their social media. And this will give you a good idea if this realtor knows what they're doing if this realtor has been in this for a long time and if they have the experience that you're going to need to get your home purchased right so once you find your realtor you're going to make a call to them and you're going to let them know what kind of house you're looking for what kind of neighborhood you want to be in and what you think your budget might be right and then this realtor is going to be able to or should provide you with the contact info for a local lender that can ask you all the right questions and get you pre-approved for a mortgage, right? I just had a really bad experience of a buyer from Miami that got a pre-approval from Bank of America. And so we went house hunting based on this pre-approval letter and um, she got her offer accepted. She was under contract. And when it was time to reach the lender, all they did was text her a picture of a letter that said that she no, you know did not qualify for the for the mortgage which was a huge disappointment for her because um it was a, like a waste of time and and you know she was really excited to get this house and anyway it's very important to have a good lender that is going to actually ask you the right questions and going to make sure that you are qualified for a mortgage and they're also gonna you know tell you what your mortgage payment will be more or less and how much your interest rate might be and you know just tell you like how much you can expect to have to bring to closing there's a lot of value that goes into having a brief conversation with a local lender all right so then once you get pre-approved you're gonna have a pre-approval letter and this is very important so that you're home shopping in the right price range right because you don't want to be looking in the 350 range when all you can afford is two hundred thousand dollars it's really different kind of home that you're going to be able to buy and you don't want to set yourself up for any disappointment okay so once you have the pre-approval your realtor should send you should be able to send you a list of properties that are in your criteria in your price range and the amount of bedrooms you want and from this list you should um the first time you should tell your realtor oh these are my top five right i i love these five and then that gives them a really good idea of what it is that you are looking for and it helps your realtor to fine tune a search for you and set you up with automatic alerts this means that every time a house comes on the market in your criteria, it's gonna go straight to your email. And if it's a house that you love, you know, you, you let your realtor know, listen, please save this one for me, put it in your, you know, my electronic file so that when I come into town, we can make sure to check this house out and you know, you will hopefully plan your visit to this part of Florida, to the Treasure Coast. When you come, um your realtor should be able to get really organized and should be able to set up like a whole bunch of showings for you in one or two days and you, you can get a lot done like a lot of people come here um for the weekend right like let's say from new york for example they've come for the weekend on day one we'll see you know 15 20 homes on day two we'll see some more if we need to and hopefully you find the house that is gonna check all the boxes for you and you know the house that's gonna be the right one for your family and when we do, um, your realtor should be able to put together the offer and have you sign electronically to avoid, you know, uh, taking trips in, in a car to go get paperwork signed and everything. It's really simple to do. Um, it's just a couple of touches on your phone and you can, you know, sign all your documents that way. Then, um, so we make the electronic offer. If your offer gets accepted, then you will have three days from the day that your offer gets accepted to make an electronic 
you know deposit or if you're still in town you can actually you know drive a check over to a local title company i have several title companies that i have worked with many many times that um you know charge less fees and are just like really trustworthy and they really know what they're doing so i can always suggest some title companies for you um but yeah you have, we would have three days to make your deposit usually that deposit is like two thousand to five thousand dollars it just depends on the price range of home that you're shopping for and that is of course always negotiable but that deposit gets applied toward your down payment and within the inspection period which is usually 10 to 15 days that deposit is fully refundable so if you do your inspection and you don't like the house anymore for any given reason for any reason at all you have the right within your inspection period to get your deposit money back okay so then once you make your deposit and everything and oh okay so once your offer gets accepted you you know make your deposit and at the same time you hire an inspector to make an appointment you know and come and inspect the property for you they're gonna go and you know check every nook and cranny and make sure that they put everything in a very detailed report for you so that you can then determine if you want to proceed with a house or not usually what we're looking for with these inspections is major things major issues like roof leaks or the ac not working or plumbing leaks or you know cracks in the foundation i don't know major major issues because the truth is that every house you inspect is going to come back with some kind of you know minor issues minor little things like you know for example the element might not be working in the range i don't know just it could be there's always there's always going to be something on the inspection and by the way when you get to the point of hiring an inspector i have people that i have worked with many many times and that are not as expensive as others might be and that do a really great job so i can definitely help you with that and refer some great inspectors here in the area um okay so then once you receive your inspection report within your inspection period you have to make a decision you you have to say okay so i think this house is pretty good and or it's better than i thought or you know and i'm going to move forward or you decide not to move forward if you decide not to move forward within your inspection period you get your deposit money back so that's how that works you can totally back out then um so if you're going to move forward i as your realtor would you know make sure to let the title company know to get started on all of the title work that they have to do and i you know stay in contact with your lender and make sure that they're processing the loan in a timely way and that things are getting done and so that we can all be finished with everything that has to get done by the time that your closing date arrives and then when your closing date arrives we high five and you can plan your beach party and plan your outdoor barbecue party and you are going to be a Floridian if you have any questions about the process, feel free to contact me anytime. You can text me 772-200-9112. I will leave all of my contact information down below. And I'm going to include up here a link to a video that I made. It's drone footage about our area just so you can see how gorgeous this area really is. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My name is Sincere Gonzalez. I'm a real estate agent on the Treasure Coast. Have a wonderful day.